Ooh, good block. everyone, I'm Megan O'Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, 
He was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local welterweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he was discovered on Dana White looking for a fight, and man, did he come through with style points that night. As such, here he is, making his UFC debut a few short months later, and the question beckons, will there be jitters? We hear a lot about those UFC nerves, and sometimes it leads to an adrenaline dump, and that can be the difference in a win or a loss. So if he can bottle the nerves and deal with the bright lights of the famed octagon, there's no denying the skill set, the skills, the demeanor. That's what got him to the big show. We'll see if he can perform now in the UFC. All right, so here he is, really, for my money, has accomplished a submission specialist and Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner as has crossed into the UFC in years. We'll see how quickly tonight he can get this fight to the ground and utilize his high-level submission skills. Outstanding choke game. A lot of different chokes in his repertoire. We'll see if he can get him going tonight. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical, and he chains them one after the other. You defend one, he attacks with another. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with big difference in height, but a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Magic Man. And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional, eight wins, four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Silky. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loveday. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are underway. All right, so here we go with round one. After winning his fight on Dana White looking for a fight, he has arrived at the UFC debut. And when you have this type of hype and this type of pressure, sometimes fighters succumb to it. But when you talk to this young man, you don't get the sense that he will. Supremely confident and really feels like this UFC debut could have come a few years ago. He is ready to go. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, lands that punch. So unguarded right into the pocket and as such, he leans right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those, Joe, he's gonna be able to take. Let's see if he gets the hands up, tries to circle out, and get that head off the center line. Nice straight right. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting worse. Nice. Hit him hard with that hook. The left hook hits home. Nasty combinations here. Look at that, right to the temple. Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. Starting to do some real...
Pretty significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yep. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Showing the punch. Nice jab. Kick lands for him there. There's a left hand. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Oh, how good that jab. Very good shots here. That one hurt. And he lands the hook. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. These guys are swinging. Oh, that's a clean left right there, Joe. And he doesn't get it. That landed. Fainting with the punch. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, nice. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. In on a single here. And he grabs a single. He got tagged there. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And he winds up on top. He's putting his hands down on the sides. It looks like he's got this submission. It looks like he's got that guillotine locked in tight. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. That guillotine is getting... And there it is! Round's about to end, sunk in that submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke, Magic Man! All right, so the celebration is on, and rightfully so, as he makes good on the UFC debut here tonight. Likely plenty more where that came from, but tonight, the celebration is on.